I've often been accused of looking incredibly miserable when I'm on the top of a podium because for me, the actual success doesn't really mean very much. Having won and having lost, I know that that moment isn't the biggest thing for me. It's got to be about the process. I mean, I think for me, winning is just a validation of all the decisions you've made in what is a real complex sport over the few years before. And I think we're very lucky in sport to be given a real black and white answer on whether you made those decisions right or wrong. Sailing is one of the few remaining things that really allows you to escape from whatever your work is. And for me, my work is the campaign, the Olympic campaign, the America's Cup campaign, the pressures and the decisions that go with that. And then when you're out on the water, you're not, you're, you, you're challenged so much physically and mentally by the breeze, you forget everything else. It's such a tight focus at times on literally a wave in front of you and maybe the one in front of that if you're really in zone. It, it's quite a healthy place to be, I think. I'm happiest in a funny sense in those 10 seconds when we're surfing down the waves, absolutely in tune. But it's a funny kind of feeling. It's not happy in a, a static way. It's happy in a, it's a, it's a very relaxed feeling of, of just getting it right. I often try to let go of the steering when I'm racing and allow the boat to go at the right path by, by your body weight, but not fighting the waves, going with them and letting it flow. I mean, I feel really lucky to do what I love doing, sailing every day. I still enjoy being on the water. I still enjoy its frustrations and the fact that you can't always understand the wind or far from can't understand it. it forever is slapping you in the face in a race and you're getting it wrong. It's not random. I mean, nature isn't random. The physics, physical forces are, are out there to understand. It's just incredibly complex. And I think that's why the sport does lend itself to experience and having done it for a while and the kind of idea of the salty sea dog. And if you want to know what's coming that day, you ask the oldest looking fisherman on the shore. Sailing is always going to have an element of luck because you're dealing with nature dealing with the elements. We can only call it luck when a storm comes over and happens to give you the wind that it doesn't go to the competitors. Before the last race of the Olympic Games we had, in Beijing, we'd spent three months in China and basically had no wind for three months. I woke up on the final morning before our medal race to a gale blowing, driving rain. And uh, I remember waking up with quite a smile on my face that morning, knowing that our Brazilians and South Americans weren't going to enjoy this weather half as much as us Brits were. <laughs> when you're fighting a real strong breeze, you just know that you can't beat it. There are, there are definitely conditions where you're, you've got caught probably out when you shouldn't be out and you've got to make your way. You've got to get yourself back to shore. I remember once in um, Argentina and they had horrific storms that come from the north of the river plate and we, we were caught out in that and you can't see more than 10 metres in front of you and the sails have been shredded within two minutes and it, that's pretty primal at that point, you just got to make it ashore. Um, but I like all that, I like, quite like the feeling of the storm when you've got to, especially when you're in a team, I sail a lot in teams and that idea of hang, you know, sorting the issues with your mates and toughing up, that I think I would miss. I've always been in the boat where I believe that when we've lost it's because I've done something wrong and made an incorrect decision. There might become a time when I think we've done everything right and just weren't good enough. I think like a lot of people I'm afraid of not having a, a sense of purpose in what I do. I can imagine a time later in life when I'm not competing at all or as regularly where you would miss that. That feeling of something that at that moment is more important than anything else. To you, it's not in, in, in the world, but to you at that moment it's more important than anything else. And I think that's something you can get a little bit addicted to. Um, and I, I, I wonder how I'll handle it when I slow down.